Sorry for the wait. Oh, we weren't waiting long at all. Is there something else you wanted to tell us? No, I don't have anything new to share. I just felt that, since you were my investigation partners, I should have another conversation with the two of you. Uh... Traveler, how would you have responded to Baptiste's request if you were in my shoes? Is that so? <sighs> well, thanks for sharing. When I was young, my father often took me here to swim. We'd come rain or shine, even when it was freezing cold. He told me that swimming was the best activity to train one's strength of will. You could never give up before reaching the shore, especially when the water was cold. Oh? Why is that? Because the moment you give up would be the moment you die. At that point, I still hadn't received my vision. One winter, the chilly wind felt almost like knives on my skin, and the seawater was so frigid that it numbed my toes the moment I stepped in. I cried and begged my father to spare me from having to swim across, but he wouldn't listen. He used to be a member of the Special Patrol as well. You could say it was his way of educating his children. That sounds awful. When he saw that I wouldn't stop crying, he just picked me up and tossed me into the icy water. The bone-chilling cold took away my senses. I couldn't feel anything but fear and rage. I waited for my father to save me, but one look and I knew he'd already started swimming for the opposite shore. I realized that if I were to give up, I really would die right then and there. I used all of my strength to try and catch up to my father. Those few minutes felt longer than my whole life up until that point. I did, however, make it to the other side. I've never felt afraid about anything in my life after that, nor have I ever cried again. That way of teaching would have never worked on Paimon. Yeah, I don't think that was the right method for anyone. It's just that, working now as I am in the pursuit of justice, I still sometimes feel like I've been tossed into that winter sea all over again. The anger and the helplessness. Shivers. But the worse I feel, the more I know to never give up. The alternative would be to forever lose myself among the waves. Anyway, how about a race? Neither of us will drown, but we can still see who swims faster. Uh, you guys go ahead! Paimon will grab the clapperboard to mark the start of the race! Oh, that felt good. You were so fast in the water, Chevras. You were swimming even faster than Paimon could fly! Uh, so, about the Special Patrol. Did you join because of your dad? Partly, but I'd say I was more inspired by the heroes I read about in stories growing up. Oh, so it's due to your love of stories! Of course. It was only after I joined the Special Patrol that I learned that truth is often stranger than fiction. Come on, let's walk a bit more. To be honest, I do sometimes question whether the decisions I make are the right ones. But I know that no matter what, I must keep swimming. Because the only thing I've got my eyes on is the shore in the distance.